uh, Arctic has tons and tons and tons of cases. Go to his channel, pick five of them, and over the next three days, share them. I don't care what five it is. Let's try to find somebody for Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was absolutely wonderful. Christmas tale there. You're going to read You just that? want oh. me to get clipped. I will read it. Okay, everybody. So <laughs> now here's your treat before we leave. So as soon as we're done with this, I'm going to play my ending. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. May you all have a very blessed and Merry Christmas. And yeah, I, I challenge you to do what Garnett said. That's a good idea. Let's put out five. I will do so. I got my commitment. Go ahead, Arctic. Take it away right. with your Christmas so, story. In the spirit of the holidays, I've written a little poem called The Night Before Griftmas. It was the night before Ooh. Griftmas when all through the chats, all the grifters were stirring, raising the house and the cash apps. We're scrolling along the screens with dollars and the hopes that Turtle Dolly soon would be there. Molly Go Lightly was nestled all snug in her bra and visions of dollar signs danced in her head. Dolly in his turtle shell and Ziggy in her mask had just doubled down for a big cash app. When out in the chat arose such a clatter, Benny sprang from the basement to see what was the matter. Away to the super chat, he flew like a flash, ignored all the others to cash in on chat. The cling and the clangs of the money did flow. Bullhorn Betty's voice thundered and bellowed. When what to their wondering eyes should appear but a big mega sticker for Justin the queer. With a little old pee pee so flaccid and lifeless, I knew in a moment it must be up church. More rapid than the Mustangs, the cash apps, they came and whistled and shouted and called Kylie's name. Now Kylie, now Summer, now Gabby and Quentin on Michael, on Gernon, on Ann Bigsby. To the top of the wish list, to the top of the Venmo. Now chat away, chat away, chat away all. As fast as, they, as, as, fast as they blocked the troll in the chat, when they come on in and call Ziggy Fat, they had the mods go through and pitch their merch while grifting and chatting with the personality of a birch. And then in the twinkling, I saw on the screen Ziggy's fake tears and running Maybelline. As I watched in amazement, taking it in, I heard a pop and silicone fly in. It was an implant all exploded and leaking, and Molly's dress was all gooey and sticking. A big massive leak in her boobie did have. And out from the garage, fix a flat Justin did grab. His eyes, how they twinkle at the fake titty, and we all waited for Betty to say something shitty. Into the chat came a small feller, a preacher, and a fortune teller. The stench of Eve he brought in the room, and vapors of yeast and tuna filled the room. She was skanky and grifting and had a big ball, and she wasn't psychic enough to find the mall. He was preachy and nasty and big on himself, and I knew he was likely hung like an elf. He spoke not a word and went straight to work and filled all the super chats, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose up Justin's chim uh, chimney, Tyler did rose. He sprayed, I'm going to leave that last part out. Um, <laughs> and I heard them exclaim <laughs> in the crash of might, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.